Jeff Sessions, he pushed back at Donald Trump. Wow. Now, we know Jeff Sessions has been the punching bag for Donald Trump for quite some time. Ever since he recused himself in any prosecution related to Hillary Clinton and her emails. And Trump was like, if I knew you were going to recuse yourself, I would have got somebody else, man. You could have told me that when I hired you for the job. <laughs> That's what he said for real. So Trump is handed in for Jeff Sessions. But apparently Jeff Sessions is like, I'm tired of taking it. I'm tired of you beating up on me all the time. I am ready to fight back. Now, <laughs> Attorney General Jeff Sessions pushed back against President Trump in an insult on Wednesday, prolonging an increasingly awkward public spat between the president and his top law enforcement official. Trump chastised Sessions over an investigation into an alleged surveillance abuses, calling his approach disgraceful. Here goes the tweet that Trump sent. Why is Jeff Sessions asking the Inspector General to investigate a potentially massive Pfizer abuse? Will take forever. Has no prosecutorial power and already late with reports on Comey. Isn't the Attorney General or the Inspector General an Obama guy? Why not use Justice Department lawyers? Disgraceful. Yes, yeah, so Trump, Trump laid into him right there. Like, Jeff, why don't you do the job the way I tell you to do the job, Jeff? Well, why can't you do what I want you to do and do it the manner in which I want you to do it? And, uh, Responding to Donald Trump's tweet, the Attorney General said in a statement that the Justice Department initiated the appropriate process that will ensure complaints against this department will be fully and fairly acted upon if necessary. He says this, As long as I'm Attorney General, I will continue to discharge my duties with integrity and honor, and this department will continue to do its work in a fair and an impartial manner according to the law and constitution. All right. So basically what Jeff Sessions is saying is, either fire me or get off my get off my balls. That's right, fire me or get off my backside, Trump. That's it. I'm tired of this, Trump. I'm not going to let you treat me this way anymore. Previous times, Trump has insulted Sessions when calling for the investigation of Hillary Clinton, but this time he called for Sessions to go after Justice Department attorneys which was a bridge too far, said the source. There is a process. We're following that process, said the source. I'm, I make no bones about the fact that I'm not a, a Jeff Sessions fan. I think that this guy's trying to roll back uh, all the progress made, any, any advancement towards ending the war on drugs, the failed war on drugs, the continuous racist war on drugs, he just doubles down on it. He what like we are we have less crime than we've had in like the last 30 years. But here comes Jeff Sessions wanting to create more of it. And that civil asset forfeiture garbage, which is nothing but state sanctioned theft and robbery of your stuff. He's wrapping that, he's ramping that back up. So Jeff Sessions is not a friend of mine. But I have to say. Sometimes when the boss man is giving you a hard time, you have to stand up to him. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you got to stand up and say, hey, I got this. Now, if you're not going to do the job, I don't know, the way he wants you to do it, maybe life is too short even for Jeff Sessions. Maybe you should think about moving on. That's just realistic. I'm just being, just being honest. I'm neither Republican nor Democrat, remember? This show is not funded by the DNC or the GOP. I'm just saying, if you're unhappy, Jeff, why don't you just go ahead and tiptoe out the door? Here's what I want you all to do for me.